Who's up? Um, I'm not in the I'm not in the appropriate place to kind of reflect on the entire season. I think the the thing about um, the this team and a team sport um, was we had goals uh, that weren't accomplished tonight, um, and you know I I think uh, you know one of the reasons that it hurts so bad is because um, nobody uh, you know. Nobody on this team really um, harbored all the excuses. They kind of, um, whether all, all the different variables that people would talk about, injuries, weather, all that stuff, we came here to win. It didn't happen. Um, we, we fell short of our goals. We had very strong expectations for ourselves. Um, one of the reasons a lot of people don't put themselves out there and hold those expectations is because when you fall short from them it's uh it's it's emotional it's um gut wrenching and you know in terms of kind of categorizing the season or really you know other macro things about stuff moving forward it's i don't think it does justice to the team um you know, in the appropriate way, we are, we lost a game. We were, um, a hundred percent all in fearlessly feeling as though we'd win. Um, but hats off to the Kansas city chiefs. Uh, they, they beat us out, played us out, coached us, all those things. Um, and so, uh, that, that's kind of where my mind's at. It's hard for me to really, yeah, I'll, I'll be better answering that, that maybe during the week or whenever you guys next see me. But tonight's about tonight, and, and it hurts. Um, no, I think you. I think the season's a journey. I think um, the you're either getting better or getting worse. Um, I think there's, uh, you know, there's some good things and bad things like there always will be um but uh you know i don't really look at it as like a um the this offense is um that, that's a ever-evolving thing and you know what i do know is we'll be in a situation where we'll be trying to get better um and you know the same you know i think i think we we were a better team and a better you specifically talking about offense than last year and that's the that's the point um you know i i think there's a lot of things that we'll look at that'll have concrete actual um solid information on what we can do you know moving forward to to get better but that's the objective of the off season is you're you're trying to identify exactly what those things are and then improve upon that you know i think um you know it's the uh we we would always like to be um the best at and win all of our games that that's what we were intending to do so there's a lot to learn from that we'll, we'll get to um you know uh you know, uh, fast and furious as the off season begins. As tough as it gets, um, just because you know uh, everyone poured their heart and soul into it. Um, that is the nature of the business. That uh, you, you, there's salary caps and there's you know um, just a lot, a lot of different moving parts. So you, you, that's one thing that. I know this team didn't run from, you know, I had kind of alluded to that idea the season before and that, uh, you know, I feel like the team um, understood the gravity with which you have to approach you, um, each team that, you know, you're going to have uh, on average, there's like, uh, you know, 30 new players each season. Um, uh, 
including practice squad. So, you know, that, that, that's the, that's the tough part. That's what guys were fighting for. Um, you know, we, we, no, no one used anything as an excuse. Everyone, you know, one, one thing I didn't see in that locker room was finger pointing or excuse making. There was just a lot of, um, a lot of emotion, uh, with regard to hurt, which is what happens when you make yourself vulnerable enough to having high expectations um, that we didn't hide from. So um, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of um, I'm proud of a lot of things with regard to uh, this team, which is one of the reasons um, you know we're trying to do everything we could to make sure this wasn't the last game, and and it was. Um, so you have to. You have to learn from it, um, but that will come in the in the in the near future. Um, you know, to, tonight I'm just trying to uh, aid some of those hurt souls, and um, we'll we'll take a hard look at all those things uh, moving forward. Um, I mean, I think I'm always, uh, you know, I think everyone has to has to get better because if you're not getting better, um, staying the same is getting, getting worse almost. So, um, I, I would, it'd be a far cry from just placing blame on one player. Um, I know he made some good plays tonight. I know there's some plays that he'd, um, want to have back. I know there's some calls that, um, I made that I liked, and there was definitely some that I'd want to have back, and I think that goes across the board. I, you know, I th- there was a lot of um, really good things, and we've all learned to have high expectations um, for uh, that unit, and we, you know, seven points isn't good enough. Um, and so then we'll have to uh, li- live with that and learn from that. Um, as we, you know, try to take another step because that's what you're always trying to do. But, you know, I think, uh, for me, at least for me tonight, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to even take those, those long, those big picture. Yeah. I'm just processing this, this loss. We, I was expecting to have a schedule next week where, um, you know, depending on it was a Saturday or Sunday night game. I was I was more thinking about that, not exit interviews. So um, I, I don't mean to disregard it. It's just kind of a it's a tough time for me to give real feedback towards um, big picture questions when you know we were thinking about one game at a time and trying to um, you know deliver to what what we all we all want, which is a long awaited playoff victory that we fell short of, you know, you can look at it as, um, what we didn't have, or you can look at it as who stepped up. So, you know, I don't injuries are part of the game. It's hard for me as a coach who's invested in these players, um, to sit here and say, well, uh, this isn't, or that isn't good enough. Um, we have a, we we had a um, a very good roster that had depth. Injuries are part of the game, and uh, you know the bottom line is that we we every year you expect to have to um, count on your depth. Um, you know down the stretch of the season, and I think I think every year uh, to a point you're not going to have. Um, every single one of your starters that you started the season with and, and you have to find a way to evolve, um, and adjust to the skill sets of your players. So, uh, you know, I, whether it's the case or not, it's just going to be tough for me to ever like say, okay, it's okay because we had injuries. A lot of people have injuries, you know, that's kind of where I come from. I thought they did a good job. We knew that was going to be the plan. They had shown those elements and, um, and, uh, when we played them in Germany. And, you know, I think um, 
the it, we we struggled um, to find a find a rhythm um, that we that we wanted to, and we had a had a good plan. I thought the guys were very prepared um, for what we were trying to get done, and you know, there's it's little things. It's like all right, you have something set up so that uh, you, you you think this run is going to um, you know give you a chance to uh, move the ball and be a little explosive, a guy's hair off, or um, I call it at the wrong time, and it kind of pins you back, and then you're behind the sticks, and that's what we couldn't do. We we knew they were going to be very aggressive that way. I think they did a good job in their front seven. Um, we, we knew they were going to put up a lot of tension towards, um, you know, our our receivers, and they were go- um, but we also knew that they were going to challenge us. So we we thought we had um, the right plan. It obviously wasn't, and hats off to them for executing their plan. Um, and uh, in you know, in the most important time, I have experience in um, in in games of of this nature, and uh, actually very specifically in playoff games as well. So it's going to be a factor for both teams. Um, you know, I, I, the the it it takes a certain mentality to um, to compete. In games like this, um, I think I think that the team was very competitive for a majority of the game. I thought they they had the prerequisite physicality, or they didn't turn it down. Or for all the guys were excited to, you know, you have to kind of go to a, a different place um, to uh, be in that weather and um, in a contact sport. And I thought our guys. Um, we're we're in a good spot. It's um, it affects the game, but it affects both teams. I think uh, they they were just um, a, a little better at executing what they wanted to do than we were. Um, that's hard. It's hard to say. Um, in that way, I th- I mean, yeah, I would think I think they were. Uh, I don't. I didn't. It didn't even enter in my mind. Um, that's, that's a hard question for me to answer, just because they were. It was so hard to keep them out of the game before, and then you know it was like a non-negotiable um, from both of them. It wasn't like if they can. It was um, what they have to do to to do that. So um, that's a, that's a tough question. I, I know. I know they were warriors that, you know, not all players in their positions of their skill sets would be able to um, strap it up, Um, but that's who they are. Um, That's who we've learned to count on. Um, So it's kind of a gray answer, but I just hadn't even really assessed it from that standpoint. Um, It was they were so gung-ho. We were just basically measuring – and hoping that they wouldn't have a setback during the week, um, because then that would that would cloud the the whole decision. Um, I thought it was uh, I, I thought it was you know at times good, at times um, a little lacking, um, and but you know that just comes with. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really. I, I guess I would say that I wish it were a little better in in both phases. Um, it's hard to um, kind of explain exactly uh, why that is, but at the same time, um, you know, it's our jobs to communicate with each other. Um, and there was the there was a couple times in the game that um, you know. At least specifically offensively and defensively, that um, the communication could have been a little bit better, and uh, that you know it's one of the reasons why um, we fell short. Um, which which side of the ball? Uh, on offense. On offense? Um, yeah, I think there. You know, we knew we had our hands full on some of the longer uh, 
third down yardage situations. I thought we did um, a fairly good job on the, uh, the the shorter ones, but you know, it kind of, it we, we knew they presented those types of problems, and they're pretty pretty highly ranked as far as the league goes um, on the latter half of third third down or the longer ones. So we were trying to avoid those situations, and there's you know um, there. We were into too many third and seven to eight pluses um, for us to expect to have the day we wanted to have on third down. So I think there's some residuals with that um, from first and second down. And then, you know, there was, uh, you know, just some uh, – we didn't execute the way we'd, we'd like to when we did have our ops, um, I thought. So there, there was just a, it was just a hair off here or there, um, multiple reasons that that could be the case. But the bottom line is, is they they out executed us, um, and and didn't really throw something that we weren't expecting. It was just um, old school execution that we fell short on.